Automatic spoiler motions have been around for quite some time. The very first vehicle to ever have a fully automatic spoiler motion was the Lancia Thema at 1984. Later on, automatic spoilers were implemented on video games such as Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, Forza Horizon 4 and even the latest GTA 5. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to implement these retractable spoilers in Unity 3D. To make transitions from one position to another, we're going to use something called animations. Animations can be found in Windows, Animation and Animation. The very first thing it's going to ask us to do is to create a animation. So we're going to create that. By creating that, we have created a empty motion. To see all of our motions, we need the animator window, which is located and at the animation animator. This is the very first animation that is going to be triggered when the game launches. So what we're going to do now is create another clip. I'm going to name it breaking and I'm going to save. Now to save this motion, which is the breaking uh, position of the spoiler, we're going to add properties in here. Okay, so what I've added in here is the position of the spoiler, the rotation of the spoiler, the position of these two pistons, and the position of this uh, p piston holder. You can delete this other animations since you don't need it. And now we have a breaking animation. Now let's go back to spoiler motion. And since this is the idle motion, we want the wing to be retracted to its normal position. So let's move that. Okay, so now the spoiler is completely retracted and all we have to do is add the properties of this, uh, of the position of the spoiler. Okay, so now we have added all the positions of the spoiler. To make sure that your animations work, you can just hit preview and that's going to make sure that your animations are correct. Next, I'm going to create two more motions for this spoiler. Once we've created all the animations, we can open up our animator. Before we add any parameters in here, we want to check if these animations are working. So the way we check is by making a transition from idle to top speed, then to max, then breaking, then back to idle. If we select our boiler in here, we'll see that the animations are working. It goes into a loop and then back to idle and it also works in the game next step is to create conditions for these animations so for example from idle we can go to maximum but from idle we cannot go straight to top speed or braking but from maximum we can go to braking and from maximum we can go to top speed and vice versa and then from maximum we can go back to idle to make condition checkings we're going to use a integer value 
and in here we're going to check that integer value so for example the idle is zero the maximum is one the braking is two and the top speed is three so if the motion is equal to one we go from idle to maximum if the motion is equal to zero we go from maximum to idle now if we want we can add a transition that goes from braking straight to idle that's also simple to do just do a motion is equal to zero and the same do for the top speed i'm going to set the transition duration the same for every transition to 0.7 now in our game we can see that idle is looping if we set the motion to 1 it should go to the maximum if we set it to 2 it should go to the top speed and if we set it to 3 it can go from top speed straight to braking so we have to add in a transition so if motion is equal to 3 we can go from top speed straight to braking let's try that okay so if we are at the top speed we can go from top speed straight to braking now there is a slight issue that it has to wait for the animation to finish bit before it can transition to another animation that is also very easy to fix select all the transitions and uncheck has exit time so now we can exit the animation at any time we want now let's connect now let's connect this animator into a script so it's control judging by the speed of the vehicle so in your script we want a animation reference And we want a separate block of code to control the animations. Okay, so what we're doing is we're asking if we're breaking and if the speed is greater than 100 this sets the wing to motion 3 which is braking else if we're above 200 we're gonna go to motion 1 if we're above 300 we're gonna go to motion 2 don't forget to drag and drop your animator into your script if you've done everything correctly the wing should extend when we hit a certain speed 